Wasn't that a completely amazing song? I'm sure you all want a copy. Anyway, we're here in the Temple of Apollo because, well, it's the eternal home of light and, well, all I said got plunged into eternal darkness. Anyway, you don't need to go into that. Um, next up we have a special, a completely amazing, completely unsolicited testimonial. Well, after listening to the CDs, I was full of knowledge about the railroads. For example, from the song that was just played, I learned the Transcontinental Railroad promoted nationalism. The songs Hit the Golden Spike Now by Pat Benatar and The California State of Mind by Billy Joel also showed this amazing fact about this famous railroad. Americans on the Transcontinental Railroad had a sense of joy when their trip was over. By the 14th track on Volume 1, Joy to the States by Three Dog Night expresses this with ease. And besides, it's also a very catchy tune. The songs What's This Road For by Creed, Railroad Killed the Turnpike Companies by the Presidents of the United States, and The Magic Railroad Ride by Steppenwolf, sing of how the early railroads changed the way America traveled. No longer were the roads the only means by which Americans traveled east of us. They now had a viable option using the rails. Isn't that... Did you steal my line? Just, just so- George! You stole my line, didn't you? Why'd you do that? That's what you told me to do in that stupid script you gave me. Now where's my money? Yeah, don't, don't say anything about that. Just take the wallet. Anyway, um, now we have, um, uh, Matt, which you met, who you met earlier, because not a witch. Anyway, um, please welcome him on. He's going to tell you all about the many CDs or the many songs on his two CDs. Hello, Matt. I'm no, smiling because I'm so glad to see you. Okay. Um, there's so many songs on this CD that we don't have the time right now to go through them all. So I'll give you a partial list of what's on this CD. We have two songs by the Bare Naked Ladies, uh, Who Needs Trains, and their second one simply entitled Railroads. We have Green Days, um, as their that's my favorite band. Oh, yes. Yeah, so uh, when they aren't coming around. We also have Eric Clapton's No Train. Hit the Golden Spike Now is sung by Pat Benatar. She's my favorite female singer. And one of the few female singers on this publish. California State of Mind, We Didn't Like the Boiler, and Hell on Wheels are all sung by Billy Joel. Quite simply and amazing. Man. Great singer. In my Quite. own opinion. I, I believe so too, I agree. Yes. We have um, modern hits, uh, What's This Road For by Creed and Cowcatcher by Kid Rock. We have the funny, the choo choo song, Lonely South by Tom Green. We also have Steam Over the Rails by Deep Purple. And we have so, so much more. Quite simply, it's the most amazing compilation ever put together about railroads. Actually, I think I'm a pioneer. So, all these 100 songs are on just these two CDs in your set? 100 songs on two CDs. That's amazing. Amazing isn't the word for it. It goes beyond amazing. There's no word for beyond amazing. Not yet. They haven't invented it yet. I think I'm going to call it Weefy. That doesn't sound right. Anyway. Did you tell the audience here and the audience at home how much this amazing compilation costs? No, in fact, I don't even know myself. I'll make this easy on you. Is the price of the compilation A, $1 million, B, $100, C, $1,000, or D, $2,198? Well, these are so wonderful. Two CDs, only... You know, that has even 100 songs, and it, it must be million. It, you don't have to think that loud. Well, I'll go with my first instinct, which was uh, D, 2198. Is that your final answer? Yes, it is. I'm sorry, Richard. You came from all this way, and. Uh, only to be right! Yes! Woohoo! Yeah! But to clarify, folks, it's two easy payments of. It was great. Mind. You okay. can enjoy this amazing company. <sighs> anyway, so how would, how would the folks at home use these CDs that are even more? How many should they buy? 
They should buy one for the house, one for the car, one for the office, one for school. You can even prop some under the table if it's wobbly. They're so cheap. Uh, right now, if you order in the next 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Oh. there's only one easy payment of $21.98. So, isn't that amazing? No, no, no. It's beyond amazing. But amazing! It, it makes it somewhere of the amazing in this show title. Beyond amazing is not quite so tight. It is amazing stuff exclamation points. Well, it would be beyond amazing stuff exclamation points plus one. If the old host was still here, I'm far superior in my thespian skills. Be it, be it, 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 we, we, rode, we rode him out on the rail. It was a rail that went down south. It was quite a fast rail. It's also a standardized rail. One of the few in the south. But he's gone now. We seem to be able to communicate with him. Yes, he's on the rail, you twit. Well, I just so happened to bring him here without you noticing. So here he is! Isn't it amazing? The original host of the show, Pat Bakerson. Hi, Matt. Who's that other guy? He's your replacement. <laughs> Not very amazing, is he? No, he isn't. If I wasn't driven down south, I'd still be here, traveling from place to place with ease. But I'm down south, and it's so sad down there. You have to travel from place to place using the rivers. Sure, they're improving after the Civil War, but it's just not the same as up north. How sad. This is my show! Stop this takeover! So, Ted, uh, what do you think about this uh, compilation? Just beyond amazing. I demand you stop this! Oh, go ride a chariot. The trains will not accept it. The chariot? The chariot? No one's driving the chariot! I told you to leave a while ago! <laughs> It's spelled right on the script. Still recording.